You know, I hate people. I hate most people. But you know the type of people I hate even more. People like Ellen DeGeneres. Remember when she was accused of creating a toxic workplace where she would bully and belittle employees? You thought this would stop at work? No, she's not just a bad boss at work. She's also a bad boss at home with her caretakers. The type of person that I hate the most in life are those that treat other human beings based on their social status. Meaning if you're a high social status person, if you're rich, if you have an important job, anything like that, they will treat you better. And if you are low status, let's say you're a janitor, then you'll be treated like shit. If you treat someone differently based on their job, you're a fucking piece of shit. Which is why Ellen is a fucking piece of shit. Let me show you. So apparently this turd was on an ego trip, a power trip. She apparently, allegedly, took pleasure in firing assistants for minor errors. So there was a high turnover rate with house workers, household assistants. Listen to this. L look at how crazy this woman is. The staffer claims that the generous created elaborate, extremely specific rules for her staff, including that certain foods could only be served in specific bowls. Household items must be placed in precise locations. Okay, that's fine. And her lattes need to be froth exactly to her liking. Violations of any of these expectations would result in immediate firing. Immediate firing. So staff constantly acted in fear for their job. Well, that's a fun work environment. You know what? It reminds me of a personal experience I had one time. I used to work in a restaurant as a server for this fucking place. And uh, they had a weird policy that you could not interact with the dishwasher. And one time I had an interaction with a dishwasher because I like to talk to everyone. I treat everyone equally. I don't give a fuck if you're a dishwasher or a server. It's ridiculous that I can't talk to certain people. Anyways, and I got screamed at out loud like a child. Anyways, I, I just, I quit. I finished my shift and never showed up again. But yeah, so I know what it is like to hate your job because of terrible bosses. Anyways, let's continue. Degeneres would leave traps for staff to trip them up such as intentionally placing a matchstick behind a cupboard door to confirm that every inch of the property was dusted daily. My belief is that someone's personality comes out at home. The former worker told Daily Mail, Ellen was the worst person that I've ever met in my life. She takes pleasure in firing people. I believe them because it's so similar to the other accusations and there's been many of them. Isn't it ironic? Isn't it ironic that some people in life get fame, get a good reputation, get money, live a good life, but they are horrible people. How much money does Ellen DeGeneres have? She has at least 84 million. I saw her net worth be 300 million on Wikipedia. The 84 million comes from Forbes. Oh no, <laughs> that's 84 millions in 2020 celebrity earnings. So 84 millions in one year, I guess. Okay, holy shit. But forget about money. She also got the medal of freedom. <laughs> the US Medal of Freedom, I think is what it's called. Right, remember with that, at least she got memed, that meme where she cries and then Obama gives her a medal. And in her description on the uh, US website, it says, in the, in the US government website, it says, in her work and in her life, she has been a passionate advocate for equality and fairness. <laughs> Oh, what a turd. All right, let's look at another, another one. But isn't that fun? There's no justice in this world. I don't believe in karma. If karma existed, Donald Trump wouldn't be the president. Not gonna get too political, but uh, I just think Donald Trump is a horrible human being. Forget the politics, just the human himself is, is a piece of shit. If you look at history, and he got rewarded with the presidency. Ellen DeGeneres is another piece of shit. And even though she might lose everything, well, apparently not. The show will continue, apparently. It's probably gonna fail, but anyways. She's still rich. She's good for the rest of her life. You know, last time in a video, I talked about people who are coming to Ellen DeGeneres' defense. And these people are always celebrities. And like I said, there's a reason why. Of course, your experience with Ellen DeGeneres is going to be good if you are someone of high status, like a celebrity. Right? Katy Perry comes out and says, I can't speak for anyone else's experience beside my own, but I want to acknowledge that I've only had positive takeaways from my time with Ellen. Of course. What did I tell you? Did the janitor have good experiences? If the janitor had a different experience than you, solely because he was a janitor, Senator, then that person is a fucking piece of shit. All right, let's uh, let's close on Ellen's uh, quote. Right after each show, she says, "Be kind to each other." That is our mantra to sign off. Be kind to each other. Fucking hypocrite. Anyways, guys, please subscribe. Only about 10% of you are subscribed. If I'm annoying you, you can always unsubscribe. Like that shit too. All right, peace.